Hey, what's up, guys? So today we're out here with this uh, brand new to me DJI Phantom 4 um, that I bought on Facebook Marketplace for. <coughs> Sorry, we're sneezing. Um, but this is a Phantom 4 that I bought on Facebook Marketplace to do a little bit of drone mapping with. I got a crazy deal on this. I really wanted a Phantom 4 Pro to do some basic maps, but this thing was such a good deal that it, it made no sense to spend the extra money on the Phantom 4 Pro for what I need. So in the box, we got the drone. We already got a battery in there. It only came with one battery, but it's not bad. We got the remote. We got big setup. There we go. I got my wire, so it up to my phone, and then we got the props. Pretty basic, and then this is still the same box that it that it comes with when it was when it was brand new. So today we're gonna be talking about this thing, showing you guys what it does. Um, we're gonna be letting you know if it's something you should still buy in 2024, letting you know if it's still worth the money, um, and we'll let you guys know if this is even still something that that you guys still want because there's a lot of other DJI drones out there now, but the price of these have come down to the point where you could find them on Facebook for 100 to four or 500 bucks, depending on the seller. But I've seen these things go for really cheap. If you just watch the Facebook and offer up and like Facebook groups and stuff, you'll see people that just want to get rid of these things. Like I got, I got this one from a roofing company they used it to take pictures of the roofs after they were done with the job and they just they'd upgraded their drone and they just wanted to get rid of it so now i have it let's get right into the test all right so i got the remote all turned on we got the drone set up with the propellers over here the propellers are pretty straightforward on this you got the black ones here and the silver ones here and you just press down and turn and they come off and then to put them on you just press down and turn Make sure it's on there and you're good. Uh, we'll press and then long press to turn it on. This drone runs with the DJI, what's the app called? It's DJI Go 4. So it's not the new DJI app that this thing runs. But pops up right away, go fly. And the reason why I got this was to use it with drone deploy and make some basic maps of different areas for different things. Um, and actually I made one earlier today and it, it worked pretty good with this drone. So I'm pretty happy with what I spent on this and, and what it can do. I'll probably also use it a little bit to get like normal still drone shots for the YouTube videos. Cause it's a little bit different than the FPV shots. waiting for everything to go. All right, we got all the GPS there. You gotta wait to take off until you have full GPS satellites up at the top or else you'll be flying it in, in full manual mode. Or in, it's not full manual mode, but it you don't have a GPS lock, so it's kind of annoying to fly. We'll show you guys that, but to take off, you just go down. Take off, send it right up. Right now I have it in normal mode, which is like the cinematic mode. Oh, let's start recording for you guys. All right, so we're recording. Right now I'm recording in 1080p, not recording in 4K. This does have a 4K camera. But we have some crazy winds out here right now, and this thing's just taking it. At about a 15, 20 mile an hour wind, and this drone's just moving around the park, no issue. I have it in normal mode. Let's kick it into sport mode. You just use this little rocker here. Oh, that's that's the the um, manual mode. So look, point the camera at the drone. And you'll see I just put it in the normal mode or the manual mode and it's no longer being held by GPS. And so now I have to hold it. And now I can hold it in position by giving it a little bit of throttle and doing what I need to do. But I don't want to fly like that. So let's put it in sport mode. So in sport mode, you guys see it, 
it obviously has the GPS lock, but it's a lot faster. So moves around real easy. For how big it is, it's pretty nimble. The only real problem with this drone is the fact that it's so big and it's kind of a lot of stuff you got to bring around to use it. But for my purpose that I need it where I need to make some maps, it's better for me to have this drone than one of the mini drones because if I pull up to a job and I have this thing, it just makes me look a little bit better than if I, I unfold a, a DJI Mini out of my pocket, like it, it looks a little goofy. But this thing's moving, I have it in kilometers an hour. Let's get a top speed for you. Doing 70 kilometers an hour, so. You guys can hit me with the mile per hour conversion in the comments. All right, 86% battery. We'll bring it close by over here. You guys see the hover on this drone is really good. We'll bring it right up over by us. Right up next to me. And this thing just, just does not move. So, give it a little tap. Doesn't move. We got some wind coming through. It just powers through. And it goes. So I mean, for the price that you can get these things now, they're pretty good drones. Let's show you guys. You guys are all probably familiar with DJI's Return to Home, but let's show you how accurate it is on this. Just completely hands off. Looks like it's gonna be pretty good. Let's put the camera down so you guys can see. We're getting high velocity wind warnings up there. It's coming down slow. It looks like it's gonna go down right about where I took off from. just lands itself. So if you have any problems with this thing, it'll always do that. Let's watch the dog. Oh, the dog to attack it. Let's give you guys a little range test on this thing though. Uh, maybe a range test isn't the best idea because it's telling me I got high velocity winds and to land ASAP. But it seems to be flying pretty good. We'll, just, we'll save a range test for another video. landed over here. Set it right down. And I mean, it's a lot of stuff. It's big, but it's really not that much. Like, let's show you guys how much it really is to just from flying, get it packed up. Just take all the propellers off. Sorry. 
Just take the drone. Take my propeller bag. Throw it back in the box. No issue. Throw my propellers back away. Throw them in there. Take my phone off. Disconnect the wire. Flatten this. Pull them. Actually, I didn't turn this off. Turn that off, flatten it. Toss it back in. And we're packed up, ready to head out. So the only real inconvenience with the drone like this would be the size. So like, it is kind of a pain to walk around with this thing, but I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Like for the price that you could get these things now, they're, they're not bad. If you just need something to, to take basic pictures or basic maps, or if you just want, a, I can't really recommend it for a, for a good camera drone, just for like an enthusiast to have because it's so big. Like they make the DJI minis that you could get for a couple hundred bucks and you could fit them in your pocket and go fly it wherever you want. But if you need a drone for like a, like a business purpose to get pictures for whatever you need or to take videos or maps, this is definitely a good option because they're so cheap. So if you're getting into drones in your business, this is definitely a good one to look at. So hopefully we'll, we'll see you guys around. We'll see you in the next video. Have a good one.